listen to you. This is the coffee table. Yeah, we TV. This is the tea party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to portray the British style of dermatology practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the final comment is Dr. Raj is an excellent artist and architect and he happened to be a dermatologist too. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you will like to label yourself with the first label? Artist or dermatologist? Well, I am an artistocrat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to be an architect. I'm an I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. you know, I paint. I but I can see around. <laughs> you know, all the paintings are mine. Yeah. Yeah, all done by me. And uh, anyway, so I I truly wanted to be an architect, but I had decided I was going to be a dermatologist, and I was I was quite good. Uh, you know, like uh, I just sailed through whatever I wanted for something that you know I can fix in 48 hours. And I realized that there were no dermatologists in India. Nobody knows how to treat skin disease. And I said, fine, I'm going to be a dermatologist. <laughs> I was selected at all three, you know, AIMS, MAMC, and AFMC mm -hmm. Pune. All, all three, I was, you know, through. I was, uh, and then as soon as I finished, you know, um, I did very well. I could have gone into any specialty, but I was going into dermatology. My first house job was in skin. Mm -hmm. you know, so like I didn't know that, you know, I had set my heart on being a dermatologist. And uh, so there was, you know, dermatology in my heart and there was Behel. So it was like it just matched. And, uh, and Behel was very pleased to have a very smart young man as a houseman because, mm -hmm. you know, so, so he took a great liking to me and then I was, you know, spending time at his home and I was organizing his parties <laughs> <laughs> I was receiving his guests. You know, when he will visit, he will come and stay with us. And then the understanding was, I'll come back and I'll join him. Mm. And then, you know, I'll take over from him. So, you know, he lost his son and his daughter was not a doctor. And uh, so I was his natural heir. Mm. So he'll keep saying, no, when are you coming home? Say well, I have to do this now. I have to do this. I'm going to US. I have to, you know, do my boards. And uh, you know, I decided. You know, I wanted to see patients, or I wanted patients to see who I am, how I live, what I do. I express myself through my about Indra. She was like that. She'll be walking, and she'll turn around and come and arrange some flowers. <laughs> so she's not that <laughs> out of line. She's like, Hello, Arunaji. I'm Dr. Nitin from Pune. These are, you know, very serious art. This is not just pots. Uh, these are, like, this is Philip Cornelius from California. This teapot is worth thousands of dollars. This teapot is worth thousands of dollars. It's a very iconic teapot, you know. In America, people who are into art, they will immediately know this is Philip Cornelius. You know, this, this form and this style of making a pot is very, very unique to him. That's his signature. Hi, Asha. Here is my CEO. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. I call him the CEO, is like your aspirin. Who uh -huh. takes your all headache. <laughs> She's managing my head. Everything to do with skin biopsy, skin diagnosis, which includes uh, light microscopy, all the special stains that are required. I teach. <laughs> I like to teach. Okay. And uh, very happy to teach, very happy to help. This is the cryostat for diff. We just finished doing the cutting of the fruit and the yes. You know, we just, we just enjoy, you know, work. I love my work.
both of you, you look not accessible but i am very pleasedly surprised that you people are very much accessible and i am this is a very glad experience for me but <laughs> You are making injustice. If, if you practice till 100 years, what the, the youngster will do? Youngsters? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, young fire them. <laughs> yeah, that's... And you, you had always been inspiring for us because... The basic, uh, uh, you know, the spirit is that you never stop learning. Right. You know, you learn every day. And then you share that anyone and everyone who cares. <laughs> and the day it stops flowing is the day I quit working. <laughs> <laughs> this will give you a total idea for clearly. Okay. here to portray the British style of dermatology practice. So, <laughs> I'm capturing that. The final comment is Dr. Raj is an excellent artist and architect and he happened to be a dermatologist too. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you like to label yourself, the first label, artist or dermatologist? Well, I am an artistocrat. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's nice. <laughs> it must be recorded, framed, archived because you lived with this, but at least the next generation they need to know. Artistocratic life. At least the next generation should learn that this is a royal way of living and a dermatologist can live it. So that's the big message actually. And for, for quite some time and for a long time I have held uh, an opinion that dermatologists are the harijans of medical community. Yeah, they they used to be. <laughs> they used and, to be. <laughs> and, and you know, I resolve to change that, you know, single-handedly, and that's what I'm doing. I'm the most expensive doctor in Delhi. I don't know, maybe in India. And uh, and as you can see, I work like this. I live like this, and so. You know, I, I would say, you know, I would compare favorably with anybody else, uh, you know, a cardiovascular surgeon like Dr. Noresh Trehan or, uh, you know, anyone. And uh, so this is uh, my way of setting the record right, that, you know, we really don't have to be the Harijans of medical community. You know, we are, we are as smart as anybody else.